All right, hey guys, um, Cody here from the Team Bird. I'm one of the head keepers, so we're in our birdhouse nursery. Got a lot of exciting things going on right now. Uh, lots of babies, it is baby season, so let's show you our youngest baby in our smallest incubator because it is our smallest baby. This is a Kia. This Kia hatched on the 22nd of this month. He is really small. Doing well though for just being a couple days old. He got fed about an hour ago, so looks like that food is moving through his crop very nicely. Get a good look at that. It's pretty awesome. We're gonna put him back pretty quickly though because he's so small, he definitely needs stay in the heat there. So he's sitting in about 95, 95 degrees, staying nice and warm. Uh, then we'll, we'll switch over here to brooder number two. So we had our Kia chick that hatched on the 22nd. This is a Kia chick that is 10 days older. So another Kia, Kia are a mountain parrot from New Zealand. They are the world's only alpine parrot. And I would say they are the most hideous baby bird on the planet. <laughs> they are really, really just not pretty. They kind of look like little dinosaurs, uh, kind of weird fluffy feathers. There's a nice feeding response going on. Again, this guy ate about an hour ago too, so you can kind of see that food, that parrot formula in his crop there. He's giving a, he's doing really well. Both of these Kia chicks are doing great. And uh, we'll put him back. And then we've got a really cool surprise in here as well. So kind of like roommates right now is we have an African penguin chick. So this little guy or girl hatched out in African Penguin Point. Uh, we were hoping the parents would take care of it and they decided as first time parents that they didn't really know what they were doing. So this little baby is living in the nursery, being a little roommate with this Kia and brooder number two, but once he gets a little bit bigger, he'll move to one of the other brooders and start hanging out with uh, some of the other penguins once he gets a little bigger. But um, this is one of the first times in a, quite a few years that we've had an African Penguin chick uh, it's a species we haven't really focused breeding with, um, but one of the cool things with our new exhibit, African Penguin Point, we were able to set up a breeding site in their holding area and got a chick out of it this year. So we're really excited for the first time. Uh, hopefully we can get the parents to raise them, but we're fully qualified to do that too. And as you can see and hear behind us, probably the most uh, loud, crazy cute looking little babies. These are little blue penguins. So all of them hatched out in uh, mid-February. So the oldest on February 15th, the youngest on February 18th. So they're all very, very close in age. This is the oldest. Uh, if you look, they're covered in those down feathers. They are nice and very, very insulated. And they can stay nice and warm. And they are at the age where they are never not hungry. Uh, they are always wanting to eat, as you can see from what they're doing right now. This is a typical feeding response. They are waiting for some fish, which they are getting fed twice a day. They act like they've never eaten before, which is kind of entertaining. Um, pretty funny. It also wrecks my sinuses too. But really, really cool stuff going on in the Cincinnati Zoo birdhouse. Um, you'll be able to see all of these babies on exhibit later on this year, hopefully for zoo babies, which is coming up in May. So yeah, look for them the next time you're here. Have a great one.